Hi everybody, this is C3 Readings and this reading is going to be for Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that will fall for you guys, Pisces. Let's see what's happening for you. Let's see, what do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Pisces, you can check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves towards you? What do they want to say to you? Outcome advice, love notes, and any guidance from the universe that you may need. And, you know, you can apply to any area of your life, not just love. Uh, or you can uh, become a monthly subscriber on my Vimeo page and you get... Um, access to a lot of extended as well as occasional you versus them readings that are going to be exclusive for that page so it's really your own choice if you want to purchase the reading individually or you want to join the page okay let's actually i actually wanted to start off with this one but i felt like picking up a romance angel oracle for you so okay one fell Okay, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry hmm, to keep this relationship going. Why do I feel like Pisces? Um, I feel like this person, whoever you're connecting with or whoever's on your mind when you're watching this reading, This person is somebody who tends to run away from you, okay? And you are at this point where you feel like it's one-sided and I mean, it doesn't really look one-sided to me. It looks like this person does, you know, show you that they care, but they don't really put in the kind of effort that I think you put in, okay? Which is the one-sided aspect of it. And I feel like you are, this is the closure that I feel like you're giving yourself that, you know, I need to move on from this worth waiting for divine timing is that work in your love life. So what I see here is that there is a big change on the horizon for you, Pisces. I do feel like things are changing drastically for you. Okay. I feel like this is the universe's way of telling you that whatever is coming for you is much better, okay? But you may need to release any build-up energy here uh, that you're perhaps carrying, okay? And that is hindering your growth as a person, okay? With the worth waiting for, I do feel like there's somebody coming towards you in the future. And this is something you're not really seeing coming towards you. But this is this card to me is looking like a confirmation card, actually. And I also see lots of healing going on for you, Pisces. I see lots of... Um, yeah, I actually see lots of healing. Let's see, though. I'm going to take this one and these two passion pay attention to the red flags and it is safe for you to love okay so what i see here is that pisces you are somebody who has trust issues you are somebody who does not like to open up to people right off the bat but there is somebody you really really opened up to but the thing is that even if there was lots of passion between the two of you this person actually did not prove to be a good fit for you, okay? Because I feel like they made you feel a certain type of a way that has really stuck with you. So they made you feel like you were an option or they made you feel like you had, you had to fight for their attention. And it really stuck with you, okay, Pisces? And now you're having, you know, you, you're at this point where I feel like you're deciding to actually call it off. But it's hard for you to do so because you are coming from a genuine uh, place of love. But the worth waiting for card is here to tell you that, you know, there is a better outcome to the situation than you think. Okay, 
At least that's how I am seeing it. Let's see what's happening for Pisces. What's happening for Pisces? What's happening for Pisces? Queen of Swords. So, Pisces, I think you are deciding to... cut off communication with somebody, okay? I feel like you are in this energy of... not taking crap from anybody, okay? But we will see. What I'm getting is that this is the kind of an energy you are trying to attain, okay? You're not completely in this detached energy, but you're getting there because I feel like, because I said, you know, you feel like it's one-sided, so you feel you, what you're doing is you're distancing yourself. I also feel like you're you're kind of like isolating yourself when it comes to your friendships. Um, I do not know why. I see you actually closing off and being by yourself a lot, doing the work within yourself. I, I also feel like Pisces, there's major healing going on for you. Now stay till the end. I am going to pick these two oracle cards as well, the love oracles and the moon oracle. So stick around till the end for that one. Let's see. I also feel like uh, this is an energy of you realizing what you're capable of, okay? A sense of security, Pisces, Six of Wands. I feel like Pisces, you really tried hard to make something happen here and it did not happen okay so now it's that energy of you detaching from it because what you expected did not happen Nine of Pentacles, Pisces. I do feel like... Pisces, I'm getting a vibe here that you know this person, but you don't really know this person. There's always, an, there's always a wall here. There's always a very guarded up energy, which is why, you know, you were very uh, happy about making things happen here or, you know, being very positive because I feel like in the past you were very positive about something, but it not go as planned. What ended up happening was that you ended up feeling lonely, okay? I'm getting a big vibe here that you, you, you got to feel that feeling of, you know, fight for my attention or you know you really felt lonely i am picking up on this energy where you're deciding to be by yourself because you feel like you already put in the effort towards somebody and it wasn't worth it you wish that this person showed you their true side it looks like you never know what this person's true side is or whoever you know this situation is about this could be about anything but looks like you dealt with a situation where you expected something and what happened was very uh, emotionally disturbing for you actually okay four of swords Hmm. What I'm getting here is that there's a lot of healing going on here, which I said with the Queen of Swords, this is the energy that you are getting to, okay? 
This is that energy of you detaching because you feel like it's imperative for your growth. So I actually do see lots of healing happening here as a person for you, Pisces. It almost looks like you're also doing the work to accept your fears. And there's like the, there's that deeper healing, you know, that is taking place here. OK, and it is coming from a very uh, intuitive uh, perspective or intuitive level <laughs> it's like something that your intuition is guiding you towards okay and as far as this person is concerned you always knew that there was something up with them but you never trusted yourself and you gave them the, them the benefit of the doubt okay let's see This is interesting, Pisces, because just when you are deciding to take a break, just when you're deciding that, no, I'm not about this crap, uh, maybe I just need to focus on myself, what I was doing before, and, you know, just leave, okay? I feel like you're doing that inner work. You're definitely going within yourself. You're grounding yourself. I also see you acquiring something materialistic. That could be about a house, a job, saving money or just your spending habits, okay? But the, <laughs> Pisces, this person wants to wants to communicate with you. They really wanna um, talk to you, okay? But I feel like this communication might come in when you have already decided to turn your back because I feel like you're already deciding to let go. Let's see. Why did I put it like that? Okay. All right. The nine of wands. The lovers. Bottom of the deck, we have the king of wands and then we have the seven of wands with the death. Okay. So the thing is that I am picking up on a, on a vibe here that this relationship is very on and off Pisces. And I actually see you as a result of all of this happening. I actually see you being very guarded up. I actually see you closing off and healing, you know, in your own time. But as far as this person is concerned, they want to talk. They want to have, um, you know, a union here with you, clearly with the lovers and the eight of wands energy. OK, um, they want to talk to you, Pisces. Okay, look at this passion. So I feel like this person um, is still quite passionate about you, but they do have issues here, okay, with what they make you feel. And it's, it's a very off kind of an energy. I'm getting that this person can be very indecisive at times, okay? And you think to yourself that, you know, this relationship is disastrous for your mental health. For now, it looks like you're very disappointed. I actually am seeing somebody with a very disappointed face. I'm actually seeing a very sad, I'm getting a very sad vibe from you, Pisces. Okay. But the good part of it is that you're healing. You're actually deciding to let go and open up to new possibilities, okay? Let's actually give this reading a positive vibe, okay? There is a positive vibe to it, but I actually, I can almost feel your energy. So, because I'm a Pisces myself. Let's see. What's the blessing or the good um, thing that is coming for Pisces? The star, absolutely beautiful. 
So there is a big wish fulfillment for you. This is the universe's way on the Nine of Cups. There is love coming in for you, Pisces. I actually see you having options in love. I see lots of forward movement for you. We have the Nine of Wands with the Nine of Cups. So I feel like there are actually two people approaching you, Pisces. Okay. And I'm getting that there's lots of healing. There's lots of, there's also an inner enlightenment here. So I feel like this is the universe's way of enlightening you. Pisces, have you cried over somebody? Because I'm seeing that you have cried at nighttime, perhaps. Or I do not know about the timing, but you definitely cried about something. And then after crying, you just decided to let go because it was hurting you so bad. That's why I was picking up on a very sad vibe here. Okay. But it's okay, Pisces. You got this. You got this. There is a big wish fulfillment for you. This is about money, but also about, you know, getting to that emotionally stable place. You're on the right path, Pisces. You are. The signs that are here are Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sag is also here. We have photograph. Looking at your pictures, missing you, um, making memories. So I feel like whoever you're connecting with, Pisces... They're missing you. This person maybe looks at your pictures. This person maybe looks at your social media a lot. Okay. This person misses the memories that you got. Yeah, we have camera at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like... I feel like this person's definitely holding on to the memories that you two have had. But you did hold on to them. But now you're deciding to let go, actually. This person's feeling very nostalgic, frustrated in a relationship, not enough. Damn. So what I see here, Pisces, is that um, this situation lacks uh, optimism. It could be from your side or their side. Somebody here is not very optimistic about this moving forward, hence why they're distancing themselves. I feel like it's you who's doing that. Your person is wanting to, to come back, okay? Exactly. We, the love call came up for you. So I do feel like this person wants to communicate with you. This person wants to talk to you, Pisces, okay? I really don't see them giving up on you. I actually see them coming back in your life, okay? It almost looks like this person wants to say something, but you're not that... You don't trust what, what's, you know, coming from them, basically, okay? Do check out the extended version of this reading. It will be linked down below in the description box for you guys, Pisces. To find out more about the person you're connecting with, where is this headed towards, this relationship, what does your person want to say, and further clarifications about what is the advice from the universe for you. Show the world the real you. Expect a powerful change. So yeah, uh, when I saw that Queen of Swords, actually Queen of Swords is not really a card of, you know, being uh, secluded. But what I picked up on energetically was that you are hiding your feelings, whether that be happiness or sadness. It looks like you're keeping it within yourself because I told you that it looks like you're silently going through something, something Pisces that the world does not know about. Hmm. To the outside world, you're fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. I lost my wo um, voice. To the outside world, you're fine. But to, you know, what you know what you feel within yourself. But there's a big change happening here. There's a big shift in the em energy that uh, you, of course, can look forward to this month. This is your own energy. This is your own month. So this is a month for you to... Um, manifest what you actually desire with this star card and expect a powerful change this talks about a big big wish fulfilling energy actually Pisces okay so that's about it those were the messages that popped out for you Pisces 
I hope that you got something out of this reading. Give this reading a like and subscribe to my channel. Happy birthday, Pisces. Um, do comment your birthday in the description box. You may find your birthday twin. Mine is March 3rd. So let's see how many people have their birthday on March 3rd. Um, anyways, do check out the extended version of this reading if you're interested. Uh, you can find uh, the link in the description box and subscribe to my channel. Okay, take care and bye-bye.